Okay, so I have thought about going around in the community um, and kind of just asking people, hello, and just kind of asking people what they, I don't know, like what they're just, I don't know, maybe off of what they've learned in life what they would share with people or what they kind of almost advise people or what they would share off of their own experiences. And I've also just thought of asking people like just things they feel like people should know, just general things that the opportunities or whatever that they might know that people don't know about. But um, I got Cody P um, and I and we were just talking um, and I and he, off of after like stuff that he said, I just just kind of connected with this past idea and he said he'd be willing to say something so what would be your inputs to the world uh, which which part is recording right now is the camera facing me or is uh, the microphone on your phone it is facing you so i'm seeing you like yeah yeah this way and um so yeah. i lost friends in my life right quite a few of them and this is coming from somebody who was literally a people pleaser growing up where I would sacrifice my own needs for those around me. And not, not in a, a way that they actually needed it, but in a way that I was destroying myself. And that happened repeatedly throughout my life. Uh, and so I've, I've come to decide now that I can only allow people in my life who, you know, do you value truth? You, viewing the video, do you value truth? Is the truth something that's important to you? because it's one of the most important things of all to me. Not a feeling, not a speculation, but the truth. And because I used to people please, I found myself being somebody who I was not. I found myself creating controversies on social media in order to garner more views, in order to garner more attention. And it wasn't the right kind of attention, it was entertainment. And as much as I love going home and watching The Office on a cold winter night and brewing some hot cocoa, attention and entertainment is a trap. You'll always be working to outdo that former self, that former post. You know, you see celebrities implode. You'll see Britney Spears shave her head because she doesn't want to be revered for her beauty. Or you see Logan Paul go to the suicide forest in Japan for the views and that doesn't garner you a positive attention that doesn't garner you a social circle of people who value truth now there is truth that that entertainment garners attention and then you can sell to those people and then you can make yourself rich and I'm not saying money is evil in fact money is very beautiful money is an amplifier but that's not the point of this video I had to start cutting people out of my life in fact a lot of them cut themselves out of my life and while I wish that we were still able to mend, we're beyond that point. And we both have to move forward and become our best selves from here. I spent the last year and a half in silence. What did that feel like to you? How was that silence for you? Was it uncomfortable? Were you waiting for more? Maybe you should spend some more time in silence. Silence implies action. You must be doing if you're not saying. That's not always the case, but if you're active, it is. I've been silent for the last month and a half, two months, while the company, country itself has been kind of erupting, dividing, and everybody's worried about being the loudest and the loudest. And it's kind of a PR move to be loud and say that you stand on one side of the aisle and while it may be true, if you're saying that you stand up for one group of people because these people are so uh, oppressed and, and everybody just needs me to help them, what are you saying? You're already implying that they are lesser. You're implying that they need your help, that they can't do it on their own. You're implying that you need to reach out and give handouts like, oh, you can't do it on your own? Let, let, let me give you this. And that's a lot different than reaching down on the cliff and helping somebody who's falling and pulling them up with your own hands. But giving out handouts is the most condescending shit that you can do. Handicapping perfectly strong, healthy, smart, intelligent, developed people 
it's going to teach them to rely on somebody else. You're simply implying that they are lesser by giving handouts and by pandering for the views. By pandering to what's going to get you those likes. By picking the side that everybody else is joining. By joining that group think and following. Spend a little bit of time in silence. And if you're going to help somebody, actually help them. Are we equal? Then treat everybody equally. Not all of our upbringings are equal. And I understand that. Not all of our pasts are equal. And I cannot do anything to ignore that. But from my stance of privilege, then I must say that we all have to treat each other equally instead of this condescension and this right to act that I continue to see. Are you really helping when you do that? Or are you doing it for the views? Are you mm. doing it for the attention? Are you in that trap of entertainment? Mm. And right as of today, that's my full message. Other than infinite learning, Stop learning, you stop growing. Age can be such a beautiful thing. All the wisest are elder. I can't wait to be old. I'm gonna be so much smarter than I am now. I'm gonna be so much more capable. I'm gonna have so many experiences to refer to when I get to those new experiences. But where I stand right now, that's what's brought people the most joy in my life. Just treating everybody like the human that they are.